Hello everybody and welcome to the recap of the Shuffle Round 43. I am your host Noodle Legs and let's get into it. We are going to start, so this one has been a long time coming. We had in the middle of, uh, taken a while to get through this section. One of our sections took us a very, very long time as you'll find out here in just, just a second. But let's start and we're going to work our way from the worst all the way to the best. If you can figure out uh, what it is. Let me know. Let me know what your ranking was for this uh, for this round of the shuffle. Um, but let's get into it. Starting with number seven. So this was in second place, and this dropped all the way down to seventh from second. Uh, and that is the collection section from Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. And this is the reason why it took me so long to get through this round. Uh, the collection took me 11 hours, 32 minutes, 7 seconds, 3 deaths... Oh man, was this long. It was just, okay, so it had a couple parts. We had we found all the force gems, we got all the hard containers, we found all the rabbits, uh, and we got all the stamps, but one, we can't get one stamp until we finish the next section, which is the Tower of Spirits 6, that's the next place I'm going, back to the Tower of Spirits. Um, honestly, it was just really long. It was really long, it's not my favorite thing in the world to do these kind of things for Zelda. Um, I love Zelda, I like 100%ing Zelda, but I don't always like the specifics of it. Um... I the, not much else to say about that, but just not my favorite. Not my favorite section, but you know, back back to the regular Zelda as we know it, and we're almost done. We're like we all like the next section is the second to last section. We're almost to the penultimate section, um, so starting with Zelda, totally fine with that. We're good. Next up, this was in third. It moved down to sixth, um, and this was the what is it called? Uh, Ouroboros section from Golden Sun Dark Dawn. This took us, let me make sure I get the right thing here, 34 minutes, 11 seconds. And the biggest thing, this is a cool little temple, um, but A, there was no boss, which, that's, re that's kind of a shallow reason, but the, I thought there was much cooler things they've done in this game so far. We did get the soul mask, which is the main thing that we've been doing, um, but there's kind of like a little snake puzzle and stuff like that, kind of little cool little puzzles here and there, but overall, not the greatest. Not the greatest, um, not really completely something I really am enjoying, so... Let me throw up these volume here for you guys. Um, next up, oh, the next one, we, it's called, the, the next uh, section is called the Ice Queen. I think that's a boss, the Ice Queen. We have the Sand Prince, now the Ice Queen. I'm hoping it's something like that. I don't know completely, but it sounds really cool. I'm excited for it. Let's move, keep moving up to fifth place here. Uh, this was in sixth, and this now it's in fifth. Slight step up, not crazy, but slight step up. We have the Island of Crete, Temple of Athena, and the Gate of Crete. To be completely honest, I don't completely remember all of this. I don't even remember completely remember doing this. It wouldn't. It didn't have a boss or anything. It wasn't super memorable, which is why it's pretty low. Um, I remember. I, I remember liking it less than gold or lower than Golden Sun. But man, I wish only Rush, I remembered what exactly we did. We fought a lot of guys. We had a little bit of puzzles, but not much. Just go back and watch that. It's not super long. If you have a question of what it's about, I'm so sorry. I really just don't remember. It was 30 minutes, 26 seconds. I just cannot remember to save my life. I really can't. That's, wow, that's that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Oof, okay. Sorry. Uh, next up we have the Maleficent Riku section. So this was in fourth last, or seventh last time. All the way up to fourth. I think this is the highest the Kingdom Hearts has ever been. Playing as Riku is so much better than Sora. So much better. I enjoy his character more. He's just he's uh, his voice is better. His uh, like his combat is so much better. No deck building. You just go. You just freaking go. And he's super fun to play as. And the story is really interesting. It's about him, and he doesn't want to use the darkness anymore. He knows he's been manipulated, and it's him trying to break out of that cycle. It's, oh, such a cool... It was actually really, really well done. I really thought... Really, really liked it. Uh, this was... It took me 46 minutes, 19 seconds. Zero deaths. Uh, the next one here will be the Genie... J I'm going to fight Genie Jafar on uh, Riku's side. So I already fought uh, Genie Jafar... Oh, the, it also... This segment ended it with Maleficent. Uh, and the dragon and everything, uh, which is it's just cooler than the Sora side. Uh, I didn't do Maleficent too long ago, um, but the next one we're doing Genius Jafar, which was one of the it's like one of the first bosses I did in Sora's side. So I'm excited to get back to it and see how it is on Riku's side. Let's keep moving. 
Next up, we have this. So this was in first last time. It's not in first this time, but it dropped down to third, which is still pretty good. And that is the Security Box 2 segment uh, from Metroid Fusion. This took me, let me make sure I got my numbers right here, 1 hour, 21 minutes, 32 seconds, and 2 deaths. Uh, so this was a pretty cool section. I think the, um, the biggest thing, I kept getting lost. I had to even look, consult a map because it was like, I have no idea where I'm going. I really don't know. And I had to even like do it and everything. And then I even had to do a little, like, I, I had a struggle against the boss as well. It was very much like a, it was a struggle. It was a struggle to say the least. I had definitely had a hard time with it, um, but it was in a good way. It was in a good way. Metroid Fusion was awesome. The security box was the same box as the first time, except he shot missiles, a bunch of missiles at you, um, and you just kind of had to avoid jumping around. Super duper cool. Awesome. Very cool. How you doing, King Aelin? How you doing? Good to see you. Let's move up to number two. So this was in fourth, moved up to two, and that is a flip of the coin. Oh, uh, what are we doing next in Metroid Fusion? Uh, next in Metroid Fusion is Ridley. We're fighting Ridley next. Yes, awesome. We're going to fight Ridley. I think he has Screw Attack as well, which will make collection much easier, obviously. Uh, but yeah, we're going back to... Uh, so, uh, the Arkham section is a flip of a coin. Uh, this took me 21 minutes, 40 seconds, two deaths. Um, this big thing here is two vases broken out of jail. It is Robin's job to post Batman to uh, put him back in jail. And... Man, uh, I think this is just emotionally more, it's, it is so high, it was very fun. First off, it was pretty darn fun. Um, like, it had a little bit of puzzles in there, which is not something that you usually see in Arkham. Um, but more than anything else, it just was really emotionally resonant. It's like, of all about how Robin feels that he's inferior to Batman, and it's him doing this on his own that really stands out. It just, it really worked emotionally for me. It's, it's really good. Um, plus, this is the end of Arkham. Like, end of Arkham period. It's just... Oh, holy crud, man. Just, just... Damn. It just works out really, really well. Um, perfect, perfect ending to, uh, to a trilogy, in my opinion. A nice way to cap it off. Um, as far as the next segment, there is no next segment. Uh, we're done with Arkham. We're moving down to six games, uh, so next week we'll only, you'll have six videos for uh, Shuffle Round 44, not seven. Keep moving. Round, uh, next we have two. I will look at your thing in a second, King. Let me finish this up and I'll read all about it. Um, and that is, oh, we actually have number one. Number one. So this section uh, was in fifth, and uh, this sec section is now in number one. Uh, and I use that wording very carefully because it's a new game. It's a brand new game. So last section to this, we finished Celeste. Chapter 5, Farewell. We finished Celeste last time. And then we are back here. And this is the first section of Tunic. This is the East Forest of Tunic. Tunic is fun. Tunic is really fun. It's really cute. I like the fox a lot. Um, and this whole thing is you're basically going and you're, you're finding a sword and you're just facing it, and there's like a cool little boss at the end, you're like dodging, trying to get the uh, iframes and everything, collecting parts of the manual, I really just liked it, it's just very, very straightforward, it does feel very Zelda-like, super cool, um, I don't remember the name of the boss is, maybe I can find that out real quick, uh, let's see if we can find it, the, just the guard captain, so the boss wasn't super interesting, it's just the whole package, it was just really well done, man, I really liked it, really, really liked it, uh, it took me, Let's see. It didn't take me super duper long, I think. It took me 39 minutes, 53 seconds, two deaths. Um, and then we're going to go from the East Forest, next section, to the West Garden. I'm super excited for that. Obviously, it'll be a bit. we got five sections before we get to it, and sadly. But, you know, five is better than six. So, you know, we'll get back to it. Um, but there you go. That's the ranking, which means you know what's coming next. Which means I'll just be straight up with you to tell you which games are coming next. We're starting with Spirit Tracks will be next, Tower of Spirits. Uh, then we're going to go fight the Ice Queen, Golden Sun. And then we have go uh, God of War stuff. I don't remember what the God of War stuff was. It was... Oh, we're going to Her Heraklion in the Heraklion Forum. Cool. Uh, that will be pretty cool. And then we're going to... Uh, back to fight J uh, Genie Jafar with Riku. Um, right, Ridley. And then we're going to the West Garden. So there you go. There's a recap. Stay tuned for a couple minutes. I'm going to go find a good tier list to do for Arkham Knight. 
and we will be back to it. All right, we have found a tier list. We're gonna do two of them. We're gonna have to do an Arkham game tier list and an overall Arkham uh, Arkham boss ranking. So let me go ahead and pull it up here, and boom. We have it right here. Let me put this in presentation mode so it looks a little bit better. There, there we go. All right, let's look at it. Here we go. Uh, Arkham Origins, I'm just not gonna rank. It's I don't consider it part of the Arkham franchise because it's made by a different company. I know it technically has Arkham in it. We're not gonna do it. Uh, also didn't do it for the shuffle anyway. So, all right, Ark Bat, so the Joker fight. The Joker fight. Uh, the Joker fight is the most anticlimactic final boss maybe I've ever played. I give it a C. It does feel kind of epic, but I think it fails in ever. Do I put it at D? I think it's really disappointing. D for disappointing or C? I'm gonna put it in C because the presentation's better. Especially since if they're counting stuff like this, this is Zaz right here. This is a D. I didn't even realize this is a boss considered a boss fight. It's not F tier. See, this is also D. Uh, I'll put this in C as well. So this is D for Zaz. Because I didn't even realize it was a boss fight. Maybe I put an F? No, it's a named person. Yeah, that's fine. You can DM me on Twitch, Alien. Don't worry about it. Um. Yeah, and then it was cool just seeing the Titan for the first time. I gotta put Joker above that. Scarecrow 1. Scarecrow 1... All right, Scarecrow wants an S. This is really, uh, this is amazing. Such a cool thing. First time I, I did, this happened to me, I was freaking out. Uh, where you think that Gordon has died. Um, you think that Gordon has died, you got this whole thing where you're unzipping your parents, and you also unzip like the Scarecrow, which scares you, and you go into this scary world, and you're like trying to avoid his gaze. Amazing. One of the coolest parts of Arkham Asylum are the Scarecrow things. So cool. Bane. Bane is a B. B for Bane. There we go. So this is a, definitely a step up from this and this. Because this Bane is chucking stuff at you. You're fighting, but it's still not anything amazing. It, 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 on the bottom line, it really comes down to you, you beat ads, you, you get hits on boss. You beat ads, you hit hits on boss. That's pretty much all it is. It's pretty... It's pretty mad. Zaz again. I didn't realize this counted twice. Um, I like it more than the original encounter with Zaz, but I, it's not a boss fight. It's not bad. See, neither of these things are bad. It gives you some, like, uh, emotional payoff. Um, but it's not really a boss fight, so I can't have to put it here. Harley Quinn also didn't think of this as a boss fight. Uh, so I guess this goes with the D here, because it doesn't really feel like a boss. I like the more emotional weight of this one because you're trying to save one of the doctors versus just this is just random thugs. <sighs> this is just teaching you how to use the gargoyles. I think here. I think this here works D tier. Uh, the double titan fight in the botanical gardens. These are actual bot and fight. It's fun to jump on their backs. It has less presentation than the Joker. I think this is good. I think Joker's is better. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Okay. What is that? Is that Killer Croc? I think that's Killer Croc. Killer Croc. Um, Let me put it up here for a second. Let me think. Let me think. All right. So you have this thing where you are... It's very tense. You have the Croc running at you. You have to throw a Batarang. To hit it in the shock collar to get it go back down. Ooh. That's really tough. I like the atmosphere. I think A. I don't think it's... Yeah, I think A is his guy. I think it's a step up from... I would much rather do the Killer Croc section than the Bane section. I like that. All right. A, A for Killer Croc. I like that. All right. This is in the caves. It's the Titan and all the guys again. I think this one sucks. I like this one better. It's just too much at this point. There's like so many guys on screen. We're, we've gone from, here's the fun fact, we've gone to like the other end of like, this is just feels tedious almost. 
I like this encounter more. I'm gonna, I think this is more of an encounters kind of a thing rather than anything else. Encounters. I like this more with the electrified floor. I like this or this. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Poison Ivy! It's definitely better. I like it more than Bane, but I like it as much as Killer Croc. I feel like Arkham Asylum's bosses are more about atmosphere than actual boss fights. This is not a true boss fight. This is not a true boss fight. But they're way better than anything in the game, honestly. Do I... Okay, so this one is... My biggest issue with this one is... The very distinct phases, and you just, there's a point where you just chuck, and you chuck, and you chuck, and you chuck, and that's all you're really doing, but it does feel, it has that presentation. I feel like putting it in the same tier of Bane is disrespectful. I'm gonna put it here. It's, I don't like it as much as the Killer Croc. I think it is, deserves an A tier, though. There is a chance that all of this ends up moving down because of Mr. Freeze, though. Maybe I need to reevaluate and put everything down more. I don't think it's an F. I don't think these are, like, F tier, though. I mean, I have to make like a double S just for Mr. Freeze alone later. I don't know. This is the uh, double Titan fight in the room with Joker. I like this more than this one, but it's at that point I'm pretty done with Titans. I think this is good. I like this. What is that? All right, so that's the end of Arkham Asylum. Next up, this is Mr. Hammer. At the steel mill in Arkham City. Is it? Wait. Because that looks like Mr. Hammer. That, oh, they put them next to each other. This one's Mr. Sickle when you're in the museum. Um, I like fighting these more than the goons. I'm gonna put, I like this more than fighting Bane. I don't think Bane's very fun. I'm gonna try moving I'm gonna move all these down here. As far as boss fights go. I'm gonna try this. We'll see how it work feels. This feels better. This feels better. I like- yes! This feels better. Alright, uh, I do like it fighting more than Bane. I can't put on the same level as Poison Ivy or Killer Croc. Uh... And, uh, I think I'll put Mr. Hammer over Mr. Sickle, because it came first. Pretty much the only reason. Uh, the- this is the Titan Goon from Penguin. I think these are more fun to fight in this game because you have the Ultra Stun. So I'm going to put it in D tier. I don't, I just don't, as, as far as boss fights goes, they're not great. I think D tier is fine. Solomon Grundy. My guy. I think this is an awesome fight. I love Solomon Grundy. Do I like it more than, is this all, hang on. Is this all, do they put all the Scarecrow get together? Interesting. That's an odd choice. I guess they did. That is an odd choice. I, I would have put them as three separate ones, I guess. Huh. Solomon Grundy. I think it's an A tier. Do I put it above Scarecrow? All three of them? The first one was the whole unzipping of bodies. The second one was the one where you're, you're, you have to walk down... And you become a kid again. And the third one is where the kid begins breaking. I think it's A. I think A. I think. Do I put it above? I want. Hmm. I think Scare. I like Scarecrow more. I'm gonna put Scarecrow ahead. Uh, this is the Poison Ivy. Ne Ne in Lundi. I didn't realize he actually was born. Uh, from. Uh, France. I didn't know Solomon Grandi came from France. Poison Ivy Catwoman. Alright, starting down here. This was not... I don't like this one very much. I think playing as Catwoman is cool, but all of her stuff in Arkham City is like my least favorite stuff, honestly. Here. Yep. We're going F tier. F tier. Raish Al Ghul S tier. Easy S tier. This is a, such a cool fight. Such a cool fight. This is amazing. Absolutely cool. You, you have the thing where you have the giant statue, you shoot the electric bolts at it. And the other thing where you just block it with your hands, that part's awesome. And then you're just warding, oh man, this is amazing. Not as good as Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is the best fight in the entire series. One of the best fights of all time. 
it might deserve its own tier. Hold on. Honestly, I think we need to... I think we need to... Hang on. Let's do that real quick. But yeah. No, it is it is that good. It is that good. All right. We have Clayface Joker in the uh, steel... Is it this? No, it's... Is this still in the steel mill? I know what the room looks like. It's like with the train tracks and everything. I just don't know. Is that in the steel mill? I don't know. This is just... It's cool that you get to fight Joker, but it's just with a bunch of goons. You need to play as Batman. I do like it more than all of these. Or the Bane. Here? That's Clayface. What am I... I, I don't want to do Clayface yet. We're not doing Clayface yet. Yes. I like that. Clayface! S tier. Not SS, just S. Not as good as Raish, but definitely, oh, this is a, such a cool fight. Such cool, you're throwing the ice balls at it. I love this. Very emotionally resonant, super cool. Is this Two-Face at the beginning of the game? Okay. Okay. Uh, this is fine, it literally, Two-Face is not even in it. Um, here, I I don't. That's not really a boss, in my opinion. Mad Hatter. This is cool. I mean, you're just fighting guys, but it has that twisted world. The presentation is very good. So I have to put it up to C. I like it more than Bane. I do like it more than both of these. It might... I do like it more than this, too. It's a... I, I look forward to doing that every, every time I do it. I can't put it above the... At the same level as these two, though. The Riddler. This is a stealth boss. If it's... If this is considered a boss, it's a stealth boss. I put it up here, then. It's very easy. It's very easy. Finally... Do I put it B? I really I like it. I don't know if I like it more than that. <sighs> yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Dead shot. Dead shot. Literally, you go your you cover cover corner. You wait for him to turn around. You move up a little bit. You wait for him to turn around. You move up a little bit. Turn up a little. A lot of it so he turns around, then you go under him, pop him up. Not good. Not good. Honestly, probably the bottom. Bottom of F tier. It's it's not good. Uh, the Harley fight at the end of uh, Harley Quinn's Revenge with the robots. Harley's shooting at you. Where did I put the two face thing? On the same level as that. We're gonna fight the tight with, uh... This is more emotionally resonant than some of these other ones. I enjoy the stealth... I enjoy the stealth uh, part of this way more than I enjoy... the combat part, story-wise. Like... Hmm... Here... I like it more. I, I, it's just the it, it has so much emotional weight to it. I think here. Yeah, I think there. What is that? I can't even tell what that is. That looks like Arkham Origins. That's Arkham Origins. Arkham Origins. Arkham Origins. This one might be an S tier. Nice Origins. Origins. Origins, 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 Origins. Well, oh, this all looks like Origins. I think that's Anarchy from Origins.
I can't tell what that is. All right, let's start moving through Arkham Knight. If I don't know what it is, we will skip it and I will put it in a different spot. I still don't know what this is. This is definitely a Robin. Uh, that's Robin for sure, but... Is this in Arkham City? I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is either. I think this is might be Arkham Origins. I don't know who this is. This is Arkham Knight. All right, Arkham. All right, Arkham Knight time. We have a helicopter. Oh, this is the Arkham Knight's helicopter, right? All right, we'll start at B. I like it more than Bane. I like it more than any of these. It's more combat focused. I still like the presentation. I can't put on the level of these two, but I, and I like it less than Mart Hatter. We're gonna go right there. Next up, we have Scarecrow. What part of Scare? We'll come back to that. Riddler robot. These are pretty cool. These are pretty cool. I think Batman's better than Batmobile. This is the best version of this fight. Where you're fighting a bunch of ads and then something's shoot again. It's the best version of that. The best version. Doesn't feel as epic. Cloudburst! Cloudburst sucks. Cloudburst is booty cheeks. Stealth. Batmobile stealth is not a good concept. I think it's very dumb. The stealth on the Batmobile, I think, is the worst part of the Batmobile. I think here. I think there. Uh, the Destro. This is another. This is like even worse. The Destro. Because that's this is literally just Cloudburst again, but with Destro. This is the excavator fight with the Arkham Knight. This is cool. This is cool. It's pretty cool. Has the emotional weight to it. I do like it more than Poison Ivy. I don't like it more than Killer Croc. I think that's a good spot. The Ar the final fight with Arkham Knight. This is how you do a stealth boss. This fight's awesome. This is so much emotional weight in it. It is re It's such a cool thing. Trying to you take out all the guys. You try to get close. This is how you do a stealth fight in an Arkham game. This is perfect for a stealth fight. I love this one. It's so good. Yeah. S tier. S tier for me. Absolutely loved it. Harley Quinn. When do we fight Harley Quinn? Because this is definitely Robin. When do we fight Harley Quinn? Let me come back to that. Johnny Charisma. Uh, this is pretty cool. It's a nice little, little mini, little mini boss. I didn't say I can't say I enjoy it more than those. Who's in vain? Here, right there. It's pretty. It, it's a very. Ah, this is another one of these, which is the guy surrounded by ads. That's Johnny Curtis. I don't remember this guy's name. Albert. Albert King. I think. Uh, here. We'll put it here. Above Johnny Charisma. Less than Johnny Charisma. Yeah. Uh, Two-Face. The Two-Face stuff. Uh, so this is all about the Banks and Gotham stuff. It is... You take out as many guards as you can and they shut off the alarm. So it's like a classic stealth. Um... If they would have put the Catwoman stealth boss with Two Face, it would be like F tier. It's a whole, I hate that one. But this one with Batman is pretty good. It's up here. Here. B tier. I like it. I like it. I think those are really, really fun. Professor Pig! It's fun. I like him less here. Here? 
I don't know why I like this one so much. I think I just like the combat in Arkham Knight a lot. Here. Here, this has much more story relevance, and I'm trying to decide between those two. Uh, Deacon Blackfire is literally just a mob fight. There is nothing to this. Here. It's, it's just a mob fight. Uh, this is driving after Firefly. This is cool one time, and every time after that it feels tedious. Cool one time. We'll put it top... Uh, I'll put it here. I like it more than the Joker fight there. What is this? I can't tell what some of these are. These are just APCs and... Uh, this is confronting Cobblepot with Nightwing. Playing with Nightwing makes it better. Just, it doesn't feel like a boss. Here. It's not a boss. It's not a boss. This is more boss-like. This is, uh, during the Matter of Family Arkham episode, where you're playing as Robin and Batgirl. That is awesome. It, it's, it's just, it is still just a mob fight, though. Here, C tier. Uh, to this is the Robin. Uh, flip of the coin. This is very emotionally resonant. Same tier, just higher. Can't put it on the same level. The Red Hood Black Mass fight. If this was longer, or if it was not so disjointed, it would be better. This is just another mob fight. Mob fight, mob fight. I was kind of disappointed. Playing Red Hood is cool, though, so we'll put it there. Playing as Nightwing. I think that you're playing... This is the Harley Quinn pack. Same deal. But it's more fluid. I like it here. Killer Croc in Arkham Knight. Another mob Another mob fight. Ay ay ay. Uh... Here. Mad Hatter in this game. This one's really cool. You're like playing through the events of the other games almost. This is really cool. It's still a mob fight, but it's still... It works better than a lot of one, other ones. Not as initially resonant. This one's better. Right here, actually. I actually really like this one. I think it's better than the uh, Arkham City one. I don't know what these three are. I don't remember a boss fight just like this, though. I don't remember e any of these three. So I guess we're done there. I guess we're done. This is our list. We have Mr. Freeze up here, SS, and there is everything else. Uh, feel free to yell at me in the comments about how wrong I am. I'll, I'll take it. Um, let's go over to games. Games. All right, here we go. Games, games, games. I don't know what this stuff is. I don't know why it's in there. Arc Origins. No. It's not a Rock City game. We're not rating it. I think Rox- I think- okay, I will just- for the record, I don't think Arkham Origins is a bad game. I think it's just, compared to the others, it's not as good. Uh, there is one defining moment in the game, in my opinion, maybe two or three, I think, moments. Uh, I think that the fight with Deathstroke is awesome. I think the final fight with Bane is pretty cool. Um, not that where he goes haywire, but before that, and, uh, Copperhead fight is kind of cool. That's- that's it. I, I don't want to- I have no interest in ever playing the game again, to be honest. All right, here we go. All of these, surprise, are at least in A tier. Arkham Asylum, A tier. Uh, this is cool, it's a Metroidvania, which I love. Um, I think the biggest problem with this game is its lack of bosses, and, the flat, and its final section is kind of does not live up to the rest of the game. Um, it also can kind of, un on repeat plays, it can kind of feel tedious, I will say. Um, every time I play it, I think I enjoy it a little bit less, because there are some sections I just don't like as much. I don't like the Botanical Gardens as much. Um, on subsequent playthroughs, as well as, yeah. Yeah, I think I just, yeah. I think it originally was an S tier, and now it's down to A. It's still an A, but, yeah. 
Arkham Knight. Or Arkham City, S tier. One of the best games I've ever played, still to this day. Every time I play it, absolute blast. Um, I will say that other the ones I've played this game a lot, so it has lost a little bit of its luster for me. Uh, but this came out my freshman year of college. I absolutely love this game. I stayed up, tried to stay up all night playing this game. I remember I ended up falling asleep um, in the middle of a stealth mission. I wake back up and I'm still, I'm crouched on a gargoyle and all the guys are freaking out around me. Probably for like around seven, eight hours. They were freaking out in a stealth mission. Really funny. Uh, Arkham Knight, I think is... I like it more than Arkham Asylum, to be honest. I think it's an S tier. I think it's I think it's a good game. Every time I play it, I enjoy it more. The story, the way they do the story, is incredible. The whole thing with Jason Todd. Now the the fact that the first time I played it, I was a I was bummed about the whole that it was Jason Todd because I'd see the story. They said it was a brand new character, but the way they tell the story and combined with the just sheer amount of effort they put into it all just yeah i think arkham knight is that good uh the bite mobile can feel a little tedious but i didn't really notice it at all this last time i played it i didn't really notice the tediousness of the batmobile um everything seemed to work really well and um, i don't know maybe it's because i was playing on ps5 i'm not sure but yeah there you go there is my tier lists for um Arkham Knight. I appreciate you guys coming in and checking out uh, with the recap and everything. Let me know what you guys would rank down in the comments uh, for this thing and let me know about your ranking of uh, the Arkham games. Obviously this is one, two, three here uh, and Ar Arkham Origins would be at the bottom either way. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have appreciate it and I will see you guys in round 44 of the shuffle. Bye bye!